A great way to take your Mighty live stream to the next level is through the use of third-party software. Two great options are OBS, which is free, and Mhm, which starts at $10 a month with a 30-day free trial. Let's first take a look at what you can do with OBS. So here I am in OBS on my Mac, and it may look intimidating, but there's really only two areas to focus on to get started, scenes and sources. So I've made three scenes here, and I'll talk about them in a second. And inside each scene, this first one I've called main, you can add sources. And so I have an audio source, my microphone, and a video source. In this case, I have a Logitech front-facing camera that I'm talking to you on now. I can add other sources just by clicking the plus icon. So this can be live web browser URLs, images, slideshows, all kinds of things. Um, but I've kept it simple here. But if I switch to another scene that I've called main with text, you'll notice I've added an image here. So I've done this to look like a lower third that you might see on TV. Um, I put my URL in here, but I could just as easily add a logo, anything I want. I can adjust this to be a small placement, a large placement, anything. You have total control just like you would in an image editing program. You can even put a common message that you might hear a lot in your live streams, like, will this be recorded? You could put a little message inside here to let people know what's happening. Um, super easy. And then finally, I'll switch here. This is my side cam. So this is my computer's built-in camera. I can switch and talk to it now. And you'll notice I also have next to it, I've pulled in the URL feature so that I'm pulling in a live feed of my um, website. So in this case, MightyNetworks.com, I could go and talk through it live rather than being just a little bubble in the corner while I'm presenting something. You could split screen. You could have uh, any kind of layout that you'd like to do. So super easy. And then as I'm doing it, I can toggle live at any point between these scenes. So I can do this during my live stream as well, which is great. So when I'm ready to go and I'm all ready with my scenes and sources, all I do is hit this start virtual camera button. And then over on Mighty, when I go and create a live stream, you'll see OBS camera is now a source alongside my other physical cameras. So I can select it, I can adjust everything else as usual, and then when I'm going live, I can actually switch scenes. So if I want to actually adjust things and make the broadcast even more dynamic, I have that option. And when you're done streaming, you just click stop virtual camera and you're all set. Now you can get a lot fancier with OBS by downloading plugins to enable things like virtual camera backgrounds. There's a whole community to explore. Now let's take a quick look at mm -hmm, which is similar to OBS, but a little bit more lightweight if you want to get going quickly. Same kind of general camera area here. Uh, I can toggle on virtual backgrounds incredibly easy, switch between different options or upload my own. I can also add in media, text, like I can in OBS. I can also add in GIFs from Giphy. So very important if you want to be super professional in your meeting. You can add this in here. Uh, now, as long as this is running, I can just go over to my Mighty Network, and it's the same experience. In my network, I just hit Create, go live, and this time I've selected the mm -hmm camera. Same thing, and here I am in the virtual boardroom. And when you're done, you just quit the mm -hmm app, and you're all set. These and other similar services are a great way to make your live streams even more fun and compelling for your members. Happy streaming!